All right, so now I'm doing something else. So I did salsa, and somebody asked about um, cooking uh, in a stock pot instead of my great big huge thing. So can you lift up that stock pot real quick, Jack? It's pretty small, actually. So we found out that we can fit five pints in there. So we're going to put five pints in there. And it still has to come over at least two inches over top of your jars. And so once it goes two inches over your jar, then we're going to cover the lid. We're going to let it come to a rolling boil, and then we're going to time it for 15 minutes. So this is for the girl that asked for the small batch canning. Um, I did have extra, and that's actually this one, and this one, and then this one. You can come out, Crystal, just be quiet. <laughs> so my neighbor happens to love my salsa. Addicted. She's addicted. She's addicted. So here's this for you, and that for you. <gasps> So, I will come back when the salsa is done. And I just wanted to tell you, I did something different with this. I used my banana peppers, my frozen peppers, and then my onions. Um, I did some dehydrated jalapenos. And so, I kind of used up the stuff that I had in my garden. So, I will be back when it's done cooking. So, who says you can't can in a stock pot? You certainly can. I have five, five jars of my salsa canning in a salt and the stock pot so that was water bath and for the girl that requested it there you go you guys have a blessed day